Hi there, Stanton here from Alka Trading. Today we are going to be talking about how to use the EA in um, MetaTrader 5. So I'm going to be using Bybit, but this sort of, this tutorial sort of like goes across any sort of uh, MetaTrader 5 platform. So let's get going. Okay, so we are in our MetaTrader platform now. Um, I do have a video on how to download it, MetaTrader, how to set it up, how to set up your Bybit account as well. So once you've got it set up, now you want to start trading EA. So now I'm assuming that you've got no programming knowledge and you just want to either buy EA or get someone to develop you an EA or you know, purchase one of my EAs. So there's three ways of getting EA. The first way is someone develops it for you, for you and then they will send you the files. And I'll explain the files a bit later, which files to use. The second option is buying it from the marketplace. So if you look in your navigator over here, on the side you'll see there's a market tab and there's one for experts. Um, and then you could go through the experts, um, you know, and pick which one you want. Um, if you're trading by bit, I wouldn't suggest using, you know, just any EA because, you know, it is cryptocurrency trading and it could be a little bit different. You could even do a search inside the marketplace for by bit, see if there is anything. You can see there is a few here. Trade on by bit indicators. Watch this. I mean, these are quite expensive. Um, Crypto ticks, I don't know, that's, you know, it's not something I would trust, unless you could see a, a full demo of it. But, you know, so what you would do then is you would just click on the EA and you could buy it, or you could download a demo so you could test it out or rent it if you want as well. So that's one way of doing it. What you do need to have though is an empty MQR5 account with some money in the MQR5 account, enough to be able to pay for the EA. So that's the first way, is getting it from the MetaTrader 5 store. The, th the first way was, you know, someone develops you and sends you the file. The, th the next way is, you know, you buy it from a third party vendor like myself. So on my um, website, we have a shop here um, and you could buy any of these algos, you could pay in crypto or PayPal, whatever you want to do. And once you've post um, finished the purchasing process, you'll receive a zip file from me. So once you've paid, it will send you a zip file. And inside, once you've extracted that zip file, you will see two files. The first file is an EX5 file. An EX5 file is essentially your EA, your executable file. Um, that is what all your compiled version of the code. That is essentially all you need in order to start trading. But when you purchase from me, you get the full source code as well, which is this MQ5 file. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is you need to load the EA into MetaTrader 5. So how you do that is you go to the MetaTrader 5 terminal, you go to file and you say open data folder, like that. Once you've opened the data folder, you go to the MQL5 folder and you go to the experts folder. Um, you can see I've already got a, a folder called Bybit. I like to keep my things neat. And the you could call your folders whatever you want. Um, and then now you'll see here there's multifarious Bybit folder. So first let's look have a look here. If you look under the multifarious Bybit folder, I'm just going to refresh here. Well, there is no folder there because there's no EAs in it. So you can see that multifarious Bybit folder has disappeared. Okay. After I paste into that folder, those two files, oh, did I even copy them? Okay, now you've pasted those two files into your MetaTrade, your multifarious Bybit folder or whatever folder you want to, but it must be within this experts folder. That is the most important. The subfolders from there doesn't really make a difference, but it must be in this experts folder. Now if I go and refresh the Expert Advisors folder, you will see my multifarious Bybit EA is now there. Okay, so now you've got your EA into your MetaTrader 5. Now you want to start using it to trade. So how you would do that is you would open up a chart. 
So you pick any chart, let's take BTC USD. And to get the the, the um, algo running on this chart, you would either just drag it in, like so, or you just double click it. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is check both of these checkboxes. Um, you go to your inputs. Now your inputs, now um, either you've set up your inputs yourself, um, you know what inputs you're trading, but most of the time you'll need a thing called a set file. A set file is a settings file which essentially sets the values for all of these inputs. So now um, you could have seen my other videos where I've saved some set files, where I've created some pre predefined um, trading strategies and then you save those trading strategies to the set files. So now I'm going to load a set file. Um, set files can be loaded from anywhere. So I'm going to load this um, this MA, MO on the one hour time frame. So I name my set files with the hour so I know and I know it's on the one hour. I see it's a one hour time frame. It's a BTC. We know we're on BTC and we know which algorithm, uh, which EA it's running for because it's a Bybit and it's on the multifarious Bybit. Okay, now you would see, now your your it's been loaded onto your EA, I mean sorry, it's been loaded onto your chart, technically you are trading, but as you could see here, there's an algo trading button at the top here. That is set to off. The reason why it's set to off is because I'm trading using a VPS and the VPS, if you've got it running on your local computer and you've got it running in the VPS, they will clash and you'll open two trades essentially. So once you start it on the VPS, um, it stops it on your local version of MT5. Okay, so now if you want to start trading locally or running it on your local version of MT5, you'll just enable algo trading and you'll see that little hat goes blue. That means that that algo is live now. So technically this algo is running. But the point is this is only running as long as your computer is running. So if you've got a computer that runs 24-7 and you don't mind leaving it on, this is perfectly fine to trade on, um, on um, trade your EAs with. But if you're like someone like me who, trade, who works on a laptop and is constantly moving around, shutting it off, turning it on, turning it off, you know, going to meetings, etc, etc, then you need to use something called a VPS. Now, MetaTrader has um, a built-in VPS. So essentially what a VPS is, it takes your entire local version exactly how it is and it moves it onto the cloud. So essentially it hosts your trading terminal for you. Okay, so if you want to know how VPS works, you just click how it works and you know, there's a couple of options here. You get a free, you, I think you get about 9,000 minutes free. And you could do it for a month, you could do it for three months, you could do it for six months. Um, it's not in here, but um, Bybit users, I think we get free VPS hosting because I saw an option that said um, free hosting or something like that. So, you know, it's something worth checking out. But I mean, you could try out VPS for free for about a month. So that's really cool. Okay, so once you've selected your option, you've paid, you can pay with PayPal, you can pay with any of these payment options, you can pay with your MQL5 account, which you know you need money in there. Once you've paid that, you'll come to a screen that looks something like this. Okay, um, I'm currently running, my VPS is running, so what I'm going to do now is just show you, if I migrate now, um, so you could choose, either you could write migrate just your experts, just signals, or just, um, you know, migrate everything. I just migrate everything. Okay, I'm going to now migrate. You wait for it to say migration is successful. So what has happened now, it has taken my local version exactly the way I have it with my charts, with my EA. So if you're going to have multiple EAs running at the same time on different charts, you need to set up all the charts and we'll run it with all the EAs running. Okay, and then then it will copy, because as you can see here, it's copied, or well, it says it's copied two, but there's just one EA running now. And 
that is it now technically I am trading and I could trade 24 7 now I could close down my laptop and my EAs will still run in the background so guys hope you enjoyed that if you have any questions please don't hesitate to put in the comments join our telegram group and hit the like hit the subscribe and we'll see you guys soon cheers